this year, Uncovered has been profiling the next generation of stars on the ATP World Tour. In this segment, we focus our attention on a 21-year-old American who possesses a powerful all-round game capable of doing damage to any opponent. This week, Jack Sock is our ATP young gun. Before turning pro in 2011, Sock won the Junior US Open Championships in 2010. He's now rubbing shoulders with the best players in the world. It's just a whole new world, I think. Uh, I mean, the physicality, uh, the focus you got to have, I mean, everything, ball striking, everything, I mean, everything's better. Um, definitely improved a tremendous amount of levels. So uh, you got to be bigger, you got to be stronger, you got to be stronger m mentally. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd say just the overall physicality of the game is just uh, it's a different world than, than the juniors. I think his game is only going to get better as, as he grows and matures and, and really gets used to more playing at the ATP Tour level. On Game Alone, he's a top 25 player now, and there's only upside there. Again, it's just a question of fitness, conditioning, and staying healthy. He's a great hitter, heavy hitter, um, so I'm sure he's going you know, to be up there. For the younger players, it can take time to adjust to life on the ATP World Tour. Sock, though, seems to have taken it in his stride. I like the traveling. I, mean, I like seeing new places, and I'm, I'm one, of the, one of the guys who doesn't mind going over to Europe and been playing for a few weeks. To live this lifestyle and get paid to do what you love to do um, and come to these beautiful places is, uh, is definitely a dream. Hoping to push on with a move up the Emirates ATP rankings, Sock is focused on capitalizing on lessons learned in 2013. I got a lot of experience last year. Uh, it was my main thing. It was probably my first full year on tour. I was hurt um, in 2012 for a while. I was out for a few months. So uh, this last year is definitely, I think, the traveling, just the ins and outs of the tour and, and every learning new tournaments, playing new tournaments. I think I'll just be a little more relaxed, a little more settled into the tour uh, in general, and hopefully we can have a good year. Part of a generation in America known for their powerful games, the influence of one man over the last decade is obvious. When I first started playing tournaments and really getting into tennis, uh, it was kind of the time that Andy had just won the Open, so uh, obviously me being from Nebraska, him, him being from Nebraska, it was pretty cool to watch another guy from the same state do as well as he was doing and had a great career that, that he had and uh, so he was probably the main guy I watched and obviously Andre and Pete for however long they were playing as well and was watching all of them so uh, but probably Andy was the biggest one. He plays well and he hits it good and um, he's sort of the generation of the Babolat racket. And I think Jack has enough weapons to make a hell of a living for himself. For me, he's a typical American player. <laughs> he reminds me a bit of, uh, I mean, Roddick, all those guys with uh, so much power in the serve and great forehand. No, no hesitation in his game, he's just going for the shot 100%. With such a wise head on young shoulders, there's no doubt that Sok will make his time count on the ATP World Tour. Just trying to play every match hard, week in and week out, compete every point in and point out, and uh, trying to become the best tennis player I can, try to become the best person I can, and, and look back in 10 years and say I did, I did everything I could to, to, to be successful.